So when do you use the law of cosines? Use the law of cosines when you have a non-right triangle, so you don't have a 90 degree angle. And the other um, time that you use the law of cosines, in addition to not having a right angle, is if you are only given three sides, side, 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 or side, angle, side. For example, the angle, okay, in between two sides, and that's all you know. So here are the formulas, and you can see there's three of them that you can use depending on what angles and what sides that they give you. But I want you to kind of see the pattern. See, so notice that in this generic triangle here that angle A and side A are across from each other, angle B and side B are across from each other, angle C and side C. The lowercase letters are the sides and the capital letters are the angles. So here you can see, here's side C, here's angle C. Here's side B, here's angle B. Here's side A, here's um, angle A. And you can see they're across from each other, just like they're across from each other in the diagram. The other two letters, B and C, A and C, A and B, A and B. So you can see there's you know, definitely a pattern here that uh, helps you to remember uh, these formulas. If you just remember one of them, you'll be able to figure out the other two. So let me show you an example. Okay, the first example I'm gonna show you we're gonna do the side angle side uh, scenario. So say for example, they give you a triangle like this. Say this is 60 degrees, say this is four, say this is eight, and you wanna solve for this side over here. Let's just call this side C. Okay, so we're gonna be working with this top formula here. Okay, so that means that this is, uh, we'll call this B, we'll call this A, we'll call this angle C. Okay, so you've got A and B, and you're looking for side C. It's across from angle C. So what we have here is we have C squared equals four squared plus eight squared, so the two sides squared that make up that angle, minus two times four times eight times the cosine of the included angle here, 60 degrees. So you can see there's your side angle side, and we're solving for the side across from angle C here. Here's side C, here's angle C. A and B are the two other sides that make up that angle. Okay, so all we have to do is solve this and then take the square root to solve for C. So what we have here, let's simplify. 16 plus 64 is 80. Okay, and this is two times four is eight times eight is 64 times the cosine of 60. Cosine of 60 is a half. So we have 80 minus 32, which is 48, okay, and if we take the square root of both sides, we get the square root of 48, and that's gonna be the length of this side, and you can simplify this a little bit more. This is um, 16 times three, which is four square root of three. Okay, so that's an example where you have side, angle, side. Let's do an example where they, they give you three sides. Okay, side, side, side. So an example uh, in this case would be something like this. Say you're given five, six, and seven. Okay, they're giving you just three sides and you wanna solve for, let's say this angle right here. We'll call it angle C again. So this would be side C, side A and B. Okay, so what we have here is we have seven squared, okay, equals five squared plus six squared minus two times five times six times the cosine of angle C. Okay, now what you wanna do is you wanna get this cosine C by itself on one side of the equation, and then take the cosine inverse of both sides to solve for angle C. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this in steps. We have 49 equals 25 plus 36, which is 61, minus 60 cosine C. Now here's where some students make a mistake. They'll combine these and they'll say, oh, that's one. But you see, this is a group. These are all multiplied together, okay? What you wanna do is you wanna work from the outside in towards this cosine to get it by itself. So I would subtract 61 from both sides. So that would give you negative 12 equals negative cosine C. Negative, sorry, negative 60 cosine C. And then you divide both sides by negative 60. which equals cosine C, and that comes out to one-fifth, which is uh, 0.2, and you take the cosine inverse of both sides, you're gonna get C equals the cosine inverse 
of 0.2. So let's just see what that comes out to real quick here on our calculator. We have, let's see, we'll do it in degrees. Okay, degrees, cosine inverse, 0.2, 78.5 degrees. So that's this angle right here, 78.5. Now, if you want to solve for these other two angles, now you can use the law of sines. You only have to use the law of cosines at most once. You can use law of sines to find this angle. Then you have two angles. You can add those up and subtract from 180, and then you've solved the triangle. You found all the sides, all the angles. So this has been the law of cosines. Go ahead and review the video if you need to. I'll see you in the next video.